Well, look what we have here. This panel suggests taking advantage of buoyancy to create a perpetual machine and connect it to a generator in order to harvest the energy. Just imagine a chain drive with air-filled balls on the roller chain. As the system rotates, it descends into the water on one side and emerges on the other. According to this, it doesn't need any external power to run, and it produces energy. I think the seal on the left is there to allow the balls to descend while preventing the water from filling the container so as to preserve energy because moving down in air is much easier than in water but i don't know how efficient that would be because once the ball reaches that spot the pressure difference would be extreme and breaching into water without letting it fill the box would require a significant amount of energy making this addition altogether impractical the steel on the right is supposed to stop the water from escaping like it's written right there but then that container has the same water level as the outside so why bother in theory an air-filled ball will travel to the surface on its own and yes it can produce energy but it takes the same amount of energy to move it down in the first place so why bother and by the way many years ago a german company called rush shared a power plant draft similar to this one they used waterfall buckets instead of balls and had an air pump fill them with air so they could float but this also doesn't work because that that air pump needs a lot of juice to run, and I think they forgot to explain where the generated energy is coming from. 